In For the People election coverage tonight, the ad that puts a candidate for Washington governor in the spotlight. Bob Ferguson let a sex offender free who went on to commit a violent act at knife point against a 74-year-old woman in her own home. It's That's an ad from former Congressman Dave Reichert saying Attorney General Bob Ferguson's actions put a woman in the path of a dangerous sex go. offender. Public safety think? is a big issue in every election, and it's one Reichert and Ferguson are going to debate for the next 10 weeks. That ad is sparking debate about the future of sexually violent predators on McNeil Island. But are Reichert's assertions true? Marissa Rio fact-checked the ad and talked to candidates about the big picture. Paul Harrell is the sex offender that ad was referring to. He's a convicted rapist classified by the state as a sexually violent predator. He was previously sent to the Special Commitment Center on McNeil Island, but was released and attacked again. Reichert says it all happened on Ferguson's watch. The people in the Special Commitment Center on McNeil Island have already served their prison time. The Attorney General's office then files to have them committed as sexually violent predators to this facility run by the Department of Social and Health Services. Paul Harrell was sent there in 2011 after serving his prison sentence for multiple counts of rape. In May of 2019, court documents reveal that Attorney General Bob Ferguson told a judge Harrell no longer met the criteria of a sexually violent predator. Two years later, Harrell attacked a woman at Knife Point in Maryland. It was a judge that ultimately released Harrell in Washington, with the state not objecting. But Reichert's ad doesn't tell the full story. He ignored expert medical advice and let this one go. And he thinks he deserves a promotion? Court documents show two different doctors evaluated Harold's mental health and said he no longer met the criteria of a sexually violent predator. That's why the attorney general's office said the state could not prove beyond reasonable doubt that Harold needed to stay committed on McNeil Island. We don't release anybody, just to be clear. That's up to a judge. We don't approve it. Records show that over the past two years, judges have released 67 people from the facility. As 4 News Now has reported in the past, several of them have ended up here in Spokane. State law says that every offender in the facility has a constitutional right to an annual hearing to evaluate their progress. If the court determines they're less likely to reoffend, they're released. Sometimes that release requires intensive monitoring. But if the court determines a person no longer meets the sexual violent predator criteria, they're released unconditionally, like Paul Harrell was. DSHS doesn't track how many of them reoffend, but some of them have. As recently as three weeks ago, a former McNeil Island resident was busted for possessing child pornography. It's that lack of oversight that Riker takes issue with. He told 4 News Now today, that is inexcusable. If there was oversight and accountability, the Attorney General's office and DSHS would have seen that their criteria to release people is flawed and needed reform, which would have led to less victims. As governor, I will work to ensure we have systems in place that will protect our communities. And they are being released more often. When 4 News Now visited the facility in 2006, there were 239 sexually violent predators here. Today, DSHS says there are 128. Still, Reichert and Ferguson agree on one thing. They both say they want these offenders in this facility. Uh, we need to keep it and make sure that sexually violent predators uh, stay there. Operating this island facility is really expensive. It cost the state over $71 million in 2023. The number keeps going up even as the number of sexually violent predators goes down. You can check our work and see where we got the information and numbers cited in this story on our website at kxly.com. In studio, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. All right, Marissa, thanks for that.